I've just been feeling, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what I've been feeling. It's like my body and my mind aren't... I don't know what that means. Lately, I've just been feeling so unmotivated and sad and just, like, not good. <laughs> Shorty's just going through it, and I feel like there's a raging anxiety flying through my veins, like, every single second of every day. Um, I have a lot going on. This summer is coming. What? It's May. The weather is getting so much nicer out. I just guess this depression isn't seasonal. <laughs> I've seen so many TikToks about girls talking about how once the weather started to get nice, they, they feel so much better. And in previous years, that's always how it's been for me. But I don't know if it's because of what's going on in my life or the fact that weather isn't enough to just take away my problems. I just wanted to take today to like try to make myself feel better. It's 12.24 p.m. right now. Now I'm here. Right now, I'm going over to my dad's to grab some more stuff that I'm gonna need for the next couple days here. I also kinda wanna stop at Starbucks. I posted on my spam account for you guys to comment like fun drinks that I should try. So I might go to Starbucks and get one of those. Okay, my memory card said that it was full. So I just had to go through and delete a bunch of like stuff off of here. But I'm at my dad's now and I'm gonna run inside and um, grab my stuff. Okay, I grabbed my stuff and I was actually just about to leave, but there's two huge packages and I'm curious if they're mine. Oh no. Why is this like open? This is from Heritage by Mindy, which is like a hair, a hair brand. But they sent me this like knit blanket looking thing, which I'm kind of confused about. Oh. Ow. They sent me the up in the air volumizing brush. This is one of those like blow dryer brushes that you can do like a little blowout at home. And then they sent me this like little wicker picnic basket looking thing. Oh, is this for a picnic? The little blanket to lay it. I don't know. Did I make that up? Stop! Wait. <laughs> this just made my day so much better. Look how cute this is. It's a little picnic set. <laughs> A hair clip, a mirror, headband, some scrunchies. There's some hair products in here. I actually love, oh my God, is this their dry shampoo? Thank God. I just ran out of their dry shampoo like a little bit ago and I'm gonna tell you right now, they have my favorite dry shampoo. I'm not even kidding, that package just made my day better. That's so cute. I'm gonna make someone go on a picnic with me soon. So we're going to Starbucks. I also thought that I had more of like my pre-made cold brew at my dad's house, but I don't. So I might have to stop at the grocery store and get some, even though I look atrocious. I have like my Ugg slippers on. Why did I do that while I was driving? I literally have been having the weirdest dreams lately. For example, two nights ago, I remember I had this dream that I had a pet monkey, but he was like a cartoon, kind of like Curious George, but cuter. And it was like a cartoon monkey, but it was real. Like it was a real monkey. You know those snaps? Snapchat filters where there's like avatars either it's like your bitmoji and you like flip the camera and it's like dancing like your bitmoji is like dancing or whatever it was like every time I would point my phone at this little like real but fake cartoon monkey that I owned it would start like dancing and shit and like post up for my videos and I was just like what the fuck
Okay, you guys, grocery store haul. First, I got my Starbucks. I've been carrying it around in there for like five minutes and I haven't tasted it yet because I wanted to taste it on camera. I got my, <laughs> here she is. I just went in there, bought my coffee at the self-checkout and then went to Starbucks and then I was like, you know what, I'm hungry. So I was like, let me get some sushi. This is like my favorite grocery store sushi ever. It's the crispy crab roll. Shit hits shit hits every single time okay let's try this drink it's the peach green tea lemonade with strawberry puree somebody requested that i get this so hopefully it's good or i hate you it's pretty good Okay, what the actual hell? I just drove around for like 10 minutes trying to find some place to park my car and eat in my trunk because I did that a lot last summer and it was very therapeutic. It is so windy out. My literal doors like are slamming. I don't know, I felt like my like car was gonna fall apart. I'm just gonna go home and eat my sushi. I'm back home now and I ate my sushi. It was so good. I'm going to take a shower now because my hair is pretty greasy and I feel disgusting. Can you get the Hey guys, um, I showered. It's been like an hour. I've just been rotting in my bed watching TikToks as normal, as usual. Um, I'm gonna do some homework now and I'm gonna continue to do homework downstairs. Noah's watching the Bucks game and it just started, so I'm gonna go watch it too. But I wanna make sure I get like at least one or two assignments done before I go watch the game because I'll probably be a little distracted. Okay. I did two chemistry assignments. They're both really short, so I really didn't do much, but at least I got those two assignments done. I'm gonna go do more downstairs and grab some food probably. I wanna make a cake. I'll probably make a cake at like half time, or I'll put the cake. This lighting is terrible. It's just straight on my face, so we might have to find a new spot for the camera, but the Bucks game just ended. We lost, so that's wonderful. Um, I'm gonna make this cake though. But I was looking on the back of the box, it's currently 9.30 and I wanna try to go to bed early tonight because I actually have to go to school tomorrow. For different size cake pans, the least amount of time is 24 minutes and I don't have 24 minutes. So I'm gonna make cupcakes because it only takes 12 to 17 minutes to um, cook or bake. I literally don't think I've ever made cupcakes by myself, or not even just by myself, but like in general, like I don't think I've ever made homemade cupcakes. I mean, forbid, forbid? I don't think that's the right word. I've never, what? What was I gonna say? I don't know, I don't think I've ever made cupcakes. It's just vanilla cake mix, but it'll be bussin'. I need one cup of water, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. I don't even know if we have eggs. <laughs> Oh yeah, girl, you need a hot boy. Egg. Whenever I'm baking stuff like this, I get appalled and almost concerned about how much oil it calls for. Like, oil is not good for you. And God forbid I had some vegetable oil in the house, like a normal like, human being. All we have is canola oil, and I'm pretty sure that's like the worst oil for you. And it smells so bad. Oh, it expired in 2018. Ooh. That's probably why. <laughs> I mean, does oil really go bad? You know, probably not. I don't know. I'm gonna use it. You guys are probably gonna come at me in the comments and tell me how bad it is to eat oil that expired how many years ago now? Four? Bruh. <laughs> I forgot to preheat the oven. these which look really fun then we have like a regular 24 or 12 12 why did i think this was 24 this is not 24 we have a regular 12 count cupcake thing big ones is this what you use for scooping it oh wait that is not enough wait what how many scoops do you put in there i feel like i'm not doing this right okay what if i like do that Oh, I want to answer, answer, what the fuck? I want to answer uncomfortable questions because I feel like it's been a while since I've done that. Maybe I'll ask right now on my spam account and then I can answer them while we're waiting for the cupcakes to bake. I'm such a genius. I feel so lonely right now. Why did I say that? 
feel so lonely. No, I actually love being alone. I feel like it's unhealthy to be alone all the time, but if I could, I would. I'm done. Honestly, I'm done with these lights. I don't care if it's dark. I'm done with these shadows and me looking like a ghost. Set a timer for 12 minutes. There's no chance, f oh, sorry. There's no chance that these cupcakes are done in 10 minutes. I feel like this is kind of ugly and a bad angle and you can literally see the like dresser that you're on, but honestly, quality over quantity. Wait, what? Oh my God, why does my bag it? I feel like this pose is very unflattering. Oh, it's this crystallized pillow. That's what's itching my back. I thought I had syphilis. What you say? The video has taken a turn, if you haven't been able to tell. I feel like I'm doing a podcast right now and it's giving me life because I have been waiting to do a podcast for years. I am dropping my first podcast, hopefully on my 18th birthday, which isn't for like another like nine months, but it'll do, it'll do. Before we answer some unquestionable question, I'm not mentally stable, am I? Someone said, are you homophobic? Sorry, I really just want to know. If I give off homophobic vibes, please just take my head off. Take my head off. I truly don't understand why people are still homophobic. Like, literally get over it. You can choose to live your life however you want. But life is literally just way too short to reprimand people for who they love. Like, why is it a big deal? There's just no reason to be homophobic. Like, literally get over yourself. Why are armpits hairy? I mean, I believe it's because of sweat. I know that we have eyebrows to catch the sweat from our heads so the sweat doesn't get in our eyes. What to do if you like someone who doesn't want anything to do with you? I'm gonna say this once and I'm gonna say it twice just for the people in the back who don't hear it the first time. Find yourself, realize your worth, and come to the conclusion that you don't want anybody in your life who doesn't want to be in your life. Cut them out. Cut them out of your life. I know it's gonna hurt, baby girl. I know it's gonna hurt. I know it sucks. It's one of the worst feelings ever, honestly, like being interested in somebody that literally could care less about you. And as easy it is to say like, oh, get over it. Like, I know it's not that easy. I mean, I put myself through that for like a year and a half. So <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's an easy thing to do, but as hard as it is, it's really important to actually try to find your self-worth and just try to realize that you don't need anybody. You literally don't need anybody. What if I'm in defeat? comma, your feet. I'll probably have to block you, unfortunately, yeah. Do you like to sleep with or without a bra? If you sleep with a bra on, you're clinically insane. Is five inches big or small? I don't know what you're referring to. Spit or swallow? Um, you're not supposed to swallow your toothpaste. I definitely always spit my toothpaste out. I did this with one of my other Q&As and you guys got so mad, like just came up with bullshit answers but my dad watches my videos two words pee shivers do you get them i do i don't always get them i remember i was talking to i don't know a guy in my life either like my brother my dad or my boyfriend those are pretty much the three guys that i associate myself with i was talking to one of them i remember saying that i always shiver when i pee like i get the pee shivers and they were blown away because they thought that was something that only happened to guys but i definitely get them not always but like if i have to pee really bad and then i'm going sometimes i'll like shiver and between or I'll shave her before. <laughs> what's your sexual what's your sexuality? I'm pretty sure I'm straight, but I can't make any promises, honestly. <laughs> I feel like it's really hard to be 100% straight. My parents watching this right now are like, what? Okay, a lot of you guys are asking about like sex and relationships and like girly stuff. And I have answered a bunch of these questions already in my I skip school to document my period video. So I'll link that down below if you wanna see like more questions about like girly stuff and like personal like bodily questions and stuff. That's it for my little segment. Let's go check out these cupcakes, shall we? I feel like I'm going insane. I need to go to bed. What time is it? It's 10.30, I literally need to go to bed. Okay, this is what the cupcakes look like. The big ones aren't even that big. They are not done at all. Look it. Oh, it's still, oh. This one was like perfect. I don't feel like frosting them right now, so I'm just. 